Well, hello, I'm Chris, and this is my kick panel with speakers video. Now, warning, we are going to rig this up. Now, it is understood that you are aware of how much these kick panels cost with speakers in them. They list them for about 160 to 250 Of course, that's what speakers are already in them. But let me talk to you about that real fast. A common thing you see on the internet is this vent one where they run it right there. That That's just, in my opinion, that's a bad idea. I mean, that's all under the dash. You're not going to be able to really hear anything off that speaker and there's a lot of stuff on forums about these little pockets they sell that go in there uh, I'm gonna pass on anything that's gonna mount this speaker in that direction up there under the dash and if anybody needs a passenger vent like this make me an offer on that I only have one so I got a stack of these we're gonna use the worst one for the experiment see it also needs to be understood that you have already priced the pods. Why are pods $59? For a freaking stupid piece of plastic that's just going to mount this speaker right here. Why does that cost so much? Let's also understand that there are a set of these on eBay right now that are $84. They mount the speaker right here just straight. You know, just the opposite of that. Another thing about those $84 ones, they look very tempting to buy. But the problem is that how do I know for a fact that they have the same grain on here? and they are molded like the originals. These are for a 70 through 72 AC car. I'm running vintage air, so these are the ones that I wanna run. It needs that right there to run the hoses that go to the AC. So I really wanted to buy a set of pods. Pods are the little plastic things that are gonna allow you to mount these where you want them to be. But like I said, they're 60 bucks. And how do we guarantee that we're gonna order those and they're gonna be what we want? So these are like five and a half inch, I guess six and a half inch overall diameter and we're gonna do this we're gonna do both of them and you let me know what you think at the end so i've been dreaming about speakers in the kick panel since i was 15 years old but even if i was a millionaire i'm not gonna spend 160 dollars on no damn kick panels with speakers in them so this is what i figured out and this is what we're gonna use they sell them at home depot right now it's watertight plastic four inch vent flash this has to be plastic they sell these in rubber and they also have like galvanized and a combo look these up online you can get them for around five dollars plumbing supply store should have them it's a four inch though make sure it's a four inch so what this is is like a vent for the sewer in your house that literally squeezes over it and you put your shingles around here so that's what it is it's supposed to be a seal waterproof seal for your sewer vent so with a little bit of creative engineering, we're gonna make these work. So let's check this out. This is an experiment I'm doing, hopefully it works. This is hard plastic, this is exterior plastic. Another good thing about it, let's check it out. It's got a grain on it. It's not 100% match, but we're headed in the right direction. Up to about right here, we're gonna cut that out, but it's got this edge that you can screw to, so that's perfect. Uh, we'll cut it out better, but already in a good direction. Okay, so the, the pod or raised part is very important because if you, anybody can mount the damn speaker right there, but you're going to end up having to cut your car out. And then also it's not angled where you want it. So we are going to angle this pod exactly where we want it. Now we're going to paint it all to match at the end, but see right now this pod thing fits in here perfect. That's why I, I thought this would be a good idea. So far it doesn't look too crappy. Sanding disc would probably be the best thing. All right, well, I got the thing ready. It looks real cool, but there's a big, huge problem. And the parking brake does not clear it, so we're gonna have to change this, but let's see how it almost worked out. Now, this must be a huge problem for custom car people, because I've seen a lot of videos and pictures on the internet where they had something mounted right here, and I guess they didn't have the parking brake out or took it out. So, change of plans. I'm leaving that in the video to give you an idea about checking that out. I never even thought about that being an issue because I've seen a lot of pictures on the internet of different cars right there. Uh, parking brake does not clear at all. I mean, you could probably alter it a little bit where it would work, but we're gonna have to totally change this plan because the problem is that when you bring it in there, it hits the body of the car. Okay, so since we gotta clear the e-brake, the new plan is to cut this pod down about one inch and see if we can make it work this time. you seen we cut that out you're gonna have to cut that out. i've thought about everything you could possibly do it's the only thing it's not gonna hurt anything if it does weld it back in there if you put them back there they're just they're way too out of reach okay there you go 
This is not in the way. Plenty of room. But I'm telling you right now, if you're trying to put some in there like this, you're gonna have a lot of headaches, especially on this side. Let's go ahead and get them done. I got these sprayed. Now let's check out what it looks like when it's finished. Okay, so we got them done. Let's just go over a quick recap on what I ended up figuring out. Now we ended up just screwing them to this. You could use a backer. That way we're sealing up any gaps. Took some number eight by 32 screws, ground them off. That way we can kind of lock it in here. See how it's locked. The general idea to get it up against that. Because that was the main problem in this project is when you put this on the car, it's all warped and flimsy. That's why we screwed it to the car, but this ended up being a way better idea. Now, they're not sealed, so that was the issue for you. It would take some kind of tape like this. This is some like the windshield, but then to seal it off. For me, these are just kind of like a like a high, a mid or a high, so it doesn't really matter. And these are the old throwaway kick panels, so don't hate me for doing this. Now, since these are going to be like in a weird position, we're going to go ahead and solder some wires to them. Okay, so these have a little one and a big one. Solid wire to the small, stripe wire to the big one. I had some old 6x9 grills and I kind of bent them. They're kind of crappy, but... I'm gonna upgrade these later, but just just to get them in there right now. Okay, so let's recap. This is a budget project. These are some throwaway kick panels. I had some speakers. I just wanted to see how difficult and what I had to go through to get them in there. Now they sell these already made up and everything. The things I didn't like about the ones they sell, they sell them for $85. They have a six and a half inch speaker that's mounted flush right there. Now, what I don't like about that is we cut the minimum out. There's a little strip that you can cut out. It's going to fit the five and a half in my project. I'm pretty sure they're going to sell you a template and you're going to have to cut out a lot more than that mounting those six and a halfs, but I'm not sure. We got away with just cutting that little strip out. So since you can't mount these flush, you're going to end up cutting too much out. We used a pod. If you look up pods, you'll see these all on the internet. They're $50, $60. The problem with buying those pods, if you buy them, you're going to have to mount them and mounting them was the biggest issue on this project so the pods actually was the best thing i found out in this project i'm going to go buy some more of these for future cars five or six dollars a piece pods are sixty dollars a piece without speakers so we use that pod to space the speaker okay so now we're going to go put them in the car see what they look like they look good does not interfere with the brake And I seriously think I already blew this speaker. Maybe I blew both of them. So overall this job was more difficult for me than pulling an engine and transmission and reinstalling it. Even if you bought those that were already made, I know you're going to end up having to cut and recut, take them out, reinstall. That typical bull crap you have to do with this kind of stuff the good thing about these is i discovered those pods those are five and a half inch speakers and i will buy more of those to mount the mount speakers like this very cheap alternative i have about 12 dollars invested in these but i already had the speakers okay so this video is just going through the problems that i had and just to give you an idea how to make some if you enjoyed the video please like and subscribe thanks for watching